사람들이 그 수준도 높아지고 생각도 많이 하게 되고 하니까 이제 더 이제 형식적인 거 말고 좀더 깊이 있는 걸 찾아갖고 그래서 이제 인문학 쪽으로 많이 공부를 하는 것 같아요. 기업에서도 저희 사회에서도 인문학이 좀 중요하게 여기고 있는데 인문학이 중요하기는 한것 같아요. 좀더 좀 사람들이 이제 약간 좀 각박해지다 보니까 좀더 약간 삶의 여유나 혹은 그런 거에 대해서 좀 생각을 하는 것 같아요. 그래서 이제 앞으로 뭐 취업을 할 때도 약간 복지 같은 것도 더 보는 경향이 있고 기업이나 구직자들도 그에 대해서 좀더 대응을 하다 보니까 좀더 생긴 거 아닐까라는 이러한 창의성이나 또 인간관계의 근본이 되는 학문이 인문학이기 때문에 기업들이 인문학에 대한 중요성을 더욱 부각시키고 있습니다. Humanistic tradition is the foundation cultural enrichment. It goes beyond basic knowledge to serve as a key to a happier life. Let's see what kind of humanistic traditions are creating new values in our lives. At large bookstores, we can easily see the latest trends in public interest. And in this particular bookstore, the bestseller section is filled with books on humanities. 깊이 사고할 수 있는 능력이 생겨나고 또 어떤 대상을 바라볼 때 여러 그러니까 다양한 관점에서 바라볼 수 있고 나 자신에 대해서 정립한다 그래야 되나? 내 자신이 누구지? 라는 나만의 철학을 만드는 순간이 되는 것 같아요. 예전에는 중년 남성분들이 많이 찾고 계셨는데요. 지금은 인문학 열풍이 불면서 젊은 연령층도 많이 찾고 계세요. 그래서 인문학 쪽에 책들도 많이 출간되고 있어서 판매량이 많이 늘고 있어요. 인문학은 말 그대로 인간에 관한 학문이라고 할수 있겠습니다. 합리적인 방식으로 갈등을 대면하고 해결해 가는 방식을 서로 모색하고 그 성숙한 시민사회로 이전하는 데 그런 것들이 기여를 하면 그것은 긍정적인 효과를 얻는 거라고 생각을 합니다. Books are the easiest way to access humanity in our everyday lives. And to find these books, let's head over to a small local library in Seoul. At community libraries like this, local residents can easily gain access to books to foster their imagination and grow humanitarian spirit. After the launch of Bo Guangchun Small Library, eight other local libraries were established in the region. As of now, there are 4,136 small libraries nationwide, with 36 additional libraries set to open in the near future. The old Seoul City Hall has been remodeled into the newly opened Seoul Metropolitan Library. Located in central Seoul, the Seoul Metropolitan Library has become a popular spot for office workers during lunch hours and evenings. And on the weekends, a lot of families enjoy coming here. 다른 도서관은 좀 오래된 책이 좀 많았던 것 같은데 여기 서울 도서관은 최근 책도 많고 종류도 많고 그다음에 관심 있는 책도 많이 있어가지고 자주 오게 되고 있거든요. 뭐 인문학 열풍은 요새 우리 사회에 전체적으로 불고 있는 것이고요. 저희도 이렇게 보시면 어르신들도 이제 굉장히 책을 많이 읽으시고 또 저희가 이번에 한 도서관 한 책에 그 서울시 전체 도서관들이 같이 참여하는 책 읽기 프로그램인데 독서 토론 프로그램입니다. 거기에 주제를 인문학으로 정했습니다. 인문 너 누구냐 이렇게 정해서 열 권의 인문학 도서 중에서 한두 권을 읽고 또 같이 토론하고 이런 프로그램들을 저희도 하고 있고요. 지금 이제 최근에 굉장히 다양한 인문학 서적들도 시민들이 굉장히 많이 찾고 또 와서 읽으십니다. The Forest of Wisdom is a cultural complex located in Paju Book City. Here, about 500,000 donated books are stacked up high into the air. Visitors can read quietly on sofas or enjoy some coffee with their books. 
it's a perfect place for friends and family who love to read books and share their discussions on their readings. Paju Book City offers various programs such as exhibitions, lectures and seminars by leading publication firms in Korea. 우리 인문학이라고 얘기하고 인문 출판이라고 얘기하는데 이것은 좀더 길게 보고 우리 사회를 체질 변화를 시키는 것 이런 일들을 우리가 하고 싶어요. 문학 작품 또는 철학 서적 또는 역사 서적 이런 것을 좀 많이 읽게 되면 그러면 자연히 이 정신적으로도 좀 풍요해지고 그 마음의 양식을 많이 얻게 되지 않습니까? 그래서 새로운 Speaking of humanities and cultural values, let's not forget about the museums. The National Folk Museum of Korea offers various historical and cultural programs. In this particular program, teenagers can experience what life was like in the 1960s and 1970s. They get to personally experience the life that their parents used to live in the past. 어, 좀 불편한데 새로워요. 그냥 저희 엄마 때 느낌을 알수 있는 것 같아서 좋은 경험이 될것 같아요. These teenagers are not so familiar with the retro music from the 70s. For lunch, old style lunch boxes are served. These lunch boxes are similar to the ones their parents used to eat when they were young, and the new generation of teenagers are ready for a taste. Lunch is followed by a special pop quiz on history. The quiz takes place on a replica of the streets from the 70s with a barber shop, a comic book store, and a photo studio, just like in the old days. There's also a time for games where participants get to learn how the older generations used to play with their friends. Chinese jump rope and tag are some of the games that are new to these teenagers. <laughs> Museum is the place for people to get a closer look at humanistic tradition and culture, which is why it is also known as the base of humanism. Through the addition of 12 public museums in 2014, we can now expect humanistic tradition to expand, providing a stronger foundation for cultural prosperity. With humanities deeply rooted in our everyday lives, its value increases as we gain more experience and knowledge in history and culture. The 500-year-old Korean cultural heritage recognized by UNESCO is a living treasure of humanistic traditions. Let's discover its values in Seoul. A place for visitors to stop by before reaching a Korean UNESCO cultural heritage. I'm very excited because there is a place I don't know and I read it's a very famous place here in Seoul. It's a palace. 
and we are going to go like a tour there and also give a walk in the area and know many other places near to it. So I just kind of wanted to experience different things. I, this is my first time going to these places so I'm hoping to get some good experience from it. The visitors arrive at Cheonggukdong Palace, a UNESCO-inscribed world heritage. After walking along the Seoul Fortress Trail at the foot of the Bugaksang Mountain, the field trip participants will get to explore the insides of the Cheonggukdong Palace. Two participants can't seem to get over the beauty of the palace, which is in perfect harmony with surrounding nature. Cheonggukdong Palace was designed to match the geographical features of its site, and its garden exemplifies true beauty with balanced arrangements of the trees, pond, pavilion, and flowers. Um, this is the old walk-in to the building. You have to stand up straight and don't look down and just put your feet like this way and walk without looking down until we get to the building with the hands in the back. Cheongdok Gong Palace has preserved the unique architectural style of the Joseon Dynasty. Although the original palace was burnt down during a war, the restored version of the palace still shows the original architecture from the Joseon Dynasty. I'm gonna try to sit over there. <laughs> really? Yeah. Can we? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ancient palaces such as Cheongdokgung are more than just parks. They're more like outdoor museums with preserved history and culture that illustrate the humanistic tradition of Korea. Everything here is very beautiful. The paintings, the design, the sculptures, the, the structures like where the buildings are, how they're arranged, the servants' things. It's very interesting uh, culture and um, food, rituals and things like that. So I'd be very happy to live in such a luxurious palace with all these lovely um, lovely buildings around me. I just, I'd be very happy and I'd be oh, so excited. <laughs> uh, it'd just be really, really, really fun and exciting. So, yes. Here's another Korean cultural heritage that has also made UNESCO's World Heritage List. The traditional Korean sound of pensori. Pensori expresses the various emotions in life using just a voice singing along to a drum beat. How are foreigners responding to this Korean music? It was the part when she was singing, um, almost crying. Um, the part I, I I don't understand Korean, but I imagine that they were talking about mom and daughter, something like this. Mm -hmm. I think was really interesting. Pensori is recognized as the only one-person opera in the world. Every vocal technique, facial expression, and even the smallest hand gesture has a meaning, making Pensori very difficult to learn. Oh, 힘들어하는 것은 아무래도 언어의 의미. 어, 예를 들면 누렇다, 누르스름하다 이런 의미를 잘 모르잖아요. 그래서 그냥 옐로우만 생각하니까 그 이면적인 걸 우리나라 문화적인 그걸 이해를 못하는 부분에서 조금은 어, 아무래도 다르죠. 그러니까 마임으로 이렇게 뭐 삐찍으면 삐찍어고 삐찍으면 삐 이런 뺑덕어미의 행동이나 이런 것들을 해줬을 때 굉장히 즐거워잖아요. 같이 뭐 웃으면서 하고 그리고 이제 슬플 때. 어, 춘향이가 예를 들면 옥중에서 갇혀서 막 쑥대머리 귀신 형용 저 엄마 옥방 이렇게 하면서 슬퍼할 때는 막 굉장히 슬퍼하는 그 표정을 하잖아요. 그래서 그런 부분은 동서양에 다 어, 이렇게 그 슬픔과 삶의 희노애락을 다 전달되는 것 같아요. 
When learning about humanistic traditions of Korea, we cannot leave out Korean food. Bibimbap is a representative Korean dish. Learning about the history and the cooking process of bibimbap can help people understand Koreans' traditional culture. After preparing the bibimbap with care, participants are about to get a taste of their dishes. When I when I was cooking, I was I was imagining, oh my god, only vegetable, it won't be good, but every everything mixed, it, it's very good, it tastes very good. <laughs> it's very good, really delicious. How did you make that? Uh, we put all of the ingredients together and made a beautiful shape, lots of colors, but then we mixed it all and ruined the picture. <laughs> It's really beautiful though. Korea's UNESCO World Cultural Heritages are true examples of Korean sentiments and values. At a university in Seoul, students have gathered in an empty classroom. A student from abroad changes into a monk costume, getting ready for a group presentation. The students have been practicing for a special performance every day for this past month. It's a presentation of different religious cultures of Korea and Vietnam. Their performance is titled Exploring Korean Humanities Together. It is an open event for college students from around the world. This year, a total of 120 participants in 30 teams will be joining the discussions to learn more about religion, spirit, and artistic culture of Korea. 예를 들어 좀 어려운 말들은 좀 못해서 어 처음에 만났을 때 반말 두로 하더라고요. 그래서 좀 당황하긴 했는데 그래서 이제 종교에 대해서 얘기하고 서로 토론하고 그 문화에 대해서 이제 같이 공감하고 이제 막 그런 교류가 생겼으니까 거기서 되게 뿌듯했었어요. 어떤 지역에서 교회가 있으면 절대로 기회가 없, 없는데 한국에서 한 지역에서만 절, 어, 절하고 교회 같은 환동 할수 있는 것은 그것은 아주 저에게 아주 그 흥미로운 하고 결과야? 예. 아 저희야 뭐 언제나 긍정적 마인드로 1등 한다 생각하고 하죠. 물론 저희는 1등가 어떤 수 있다고 믿습니다. Here's another team that will take part in this competition. This multinational team of Korean and Chinese students will be presenting on the Confucianist culture in Korea. The students have mentors who help clarify their understandings on Korean cultural traditions. The Asian countries have a lot of knowledge about the Asian countries. I heard a lot about the Asian countries in the past. I heard a lot 제목만 보고 무슨 소리인지 몰랐는데 그 안내를 보니까 저희가 듣던 그 수업의 연장선이라고 볼수 있는 거예요. 몽고에서 어느 학생들이 있고 저는 중국에서 어느 학생입니다. 그래서 말 아, 언어가 서로 서로 안 통해서 교류가 좀 힘들었어요. 이 부분 제일 어려웠어요. Just before the last rehearsal for the competition, team members gathered at a Vietnamese restaurant where contestant Huang Sun Duck works. 어느 정도 완성이 됐나요? 거의 우리는 90% 정도 완성했습니다. 나머지는 그 발표 준그 발표 연습하면 성공할 수 있습니다. It has been four years since Huang came to Korea to study. He studied hard while juggling a part-time job at this Vietnamese restaurant. Before the final competition, he invited his team members to eat here as they hoped for good results. Uh, 
This is the final stage for the global group of students to freely express their thoughts on Korean humanities. Only 15 teams advancing from the preliminary rounds will get a chance to perform today. This all-female team is the Yagrina team. They seem to be well prepared on the family customs of Korea. It is clear that the non-Korean contestants have done a lot of research for this competition, which puts a smile on the judges' faces. Now it's time for the Chungsun University team to present their skit on Korean Confucianism. They successfully completed their presentation without getting nervous. And finally, it's time for Huang's team to perform. The team members encourage each other so they won't forget their lines. Their youthful spirit makes this a beautiful challenge. During the presentation on the cultural differences of Korea and Vietnam, Huang explains the differences he personally noticed while living in Korea. His passion and effort in preparing for this event are finally paying off. The results are announced, and Huang's team has won third place. The first place goes to the clown team, comprised of students from China, Korea, and the United States. I think we have to recognize uh, that the great tradition is not easy, and it shouldn't be easy, that it's also necessary in our daily lives to have things which are not easily consumed, but require us to think and slow down. That's also important for us. Humanistic traditions are the most crucial elements in realizing cultural prosperity. The combination of cultural values and humanistic imaginations is the ultimate source of happiness. And Korea's brilliant humanistic customs will serve as the key to a brighter future. <laughs>